Lately, I've received some messages asking, how do you include subtitles in your Handbrake Blu-ray encodes so you can turn them on and off and not have them burned into the video stream? If you're watching this video, you've probably learned that Blu-ray subtitles are different to text-based DVD subtitles. Blu-ray subtitles are actually little graphic images called PGS files, which are a lot harder to encode. Or are they? It's actually easier than you think. Let me show you how. For this tutorial, we are using Windows. This can also be done on a Mac, and I will show you that in another video. I will leave the link down below. OK, you can see I have ripped my Blu-ray to the desktop, and the MKV file contains all of the subtitles that were included on the Blu-ray disc. You might be thinking, how can that MKV file contain all of those tracks from the disc, but Handbrake can't encode them? Well, here's the tricky part. Open Handbrake and drop the file in. The output container should already be set to MP4 by default. Go to the Subtitles tab and select your preferred subtitle track. You will see that Burn In is selected and greyed out. You can't change it. The subtitles will be burned into the video. But if you go back to the Summary tab and pick MKV as your output file container, and now go back to the Subtitles tab, you will be able to deselect Burn In and your subtitles will be included in the encoded file and you will be able to switch the subtitles on and off. Wow, mind blown. That's right, MP4 files can't handle PGS or graphic style subtitles, but MKV can. So choose MKV and all your problems are sorted. However, if your player needs a separate SRT file or you really, really just want to have an MP4 file, I will show you how you can get this done. To get started, download Subtitle Edit from nikse.dk. It's a completely free program and open source. Once you've downloaded and installed it, open it up and drop your source MKV file in. You will see all of the available subtitle tracks you can choose from. Once you've selected your desired track, it will start importing the subtitles. You may think the program has crashed as it doesn't look like much is happening, but if you look down the bottom, you will see that progress is still being made. Once it's fully imported, you can press the OCR button. It will start converting all of those graphics into text using optical character recognition software. Now, whilst this is very cool and it gets most correct, there will be some lines that don't look right. You will have to edit these manually. Thankfully, this is pretty easy. Once all the subtitles have finished converting, press OK in the bottom right hand corner and you will be taken to the editor. Now it's just a matter of scrolling through them and finding the ones with the red highlights. These are errors and they are very simple to adjust. Just change the text and move on to the next one. Once you are happy with all of your edits, click the Save button and it will allow you to save your converted subtitles to a text-based SRT file. Now that you've exported the SRT file, if you want to use it alongside a video in an older media player, encode the Blu-ray and Handbrake as normal and remove or disable all subtitle tracks. Once this is done, Make sure that the video file and the subtitle file have exactly the same name, but obviously they will have different file extensions. Put them both in the same folder and you should all be set. If you want to include your SRT style subtitles into an MP4 file, or even an MKV file for that matter, open Handbrake and get all your other settings how you want them. Then click on the subtitle screen and clear away all pre-selected tracks. Click the tracks box and then import subtitles. You can select your external SRT file. Leave burn in unchecked. Now press encode and let Handbrake do its thing. Okay, now we can see Handbrake is finished and I have a new MP4 file on my desktop. I'm going to open that with VLC player, let it run, 
And you can see now that I'm able to turn the subtitles on and off as required. Thanks for watching and if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next one.